Hi Cancer, welcome to Angela 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're doing what's happening during uh, Mercury Retrograde for you. This is uh, Mercury Retrograde's May 10th through June 3rd. Um, please know that everything you need to know is in the description box. If you wanna follow me on TikTok or Instagram, all of that information is below as well. And just wanna say thank you for all of your likes, your shares, your support, I do appreciate you. And with that, Cancer, let's just get started. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards here from the Energy Oracle deck. Then I'm going to start pulling uh, the Tarot. And we'll see what the messages are for you, Cancer, for Mercury Retrograde, what's happening during May 10th through June 3rd. All right, looking uh, interesting here already. Uh, for you, Cancer. Well, let's see what the tarot says. Definitely see something changing here. Okay. Wow, very nice there. All right, Cancer. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So Cancer, uh, you have the world card here. We're going to start with the world card here. All right. There's definitely a lot of change that's about to happen. You're entering a new cycle during Mercury retrograde. Okay. Now, you have the strategy card here. Okay. I feel this is a new cycle, the idea of things, uh, new beginnings, writing a new book, right? type of energy so we're gonna see uh, when we when I go to the tarot you have number 29 which is 11 okay again new beginnings here you may be seeing 11 11 or 1 1 1 you got 21 which is 3 and now you have number 14 which is 5 carrying connections okay so there is some sort of love situation that is uh, going to happen I'm gonna say here with the high priestess your energy here, Cancer, could be dealing with the Pisces. I'm going to say with this world card, too, you have uh, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. So, Cancer, what I see here is that you're more wise, okay? Going into this new cycle, I feel like you've learned a lot. You're more wise. I feel like, too, um, from what you've learned, you may not... Uh, how do I want to say this? You may keep more to yourself than maybe you did in the past, right? Um, you know, the high priestess can be the knowledge keeper, right? Or the keeper of secrets. So I feel there's an energy that maybe in this new cycle here in love, you're maybe not as expressive, right? Or you're keeping more to yourself, okay? Going into this new cycle here. I'm going to say here the letters B or J may be important to you as well. Um, some of you too, I, I, I pick up, I just heard from spirit that some of you too, um, this may be a new, you know, a new spiritual, spiritual journey for you. Okay. Some of you may be more interested, um, you know, in spirituality. Okay. You may be learning more about spirituality. You have the sun card here as well. Strong Leo energy. Okay. So I feel like this is a new beginning. Like I said, a new story is going to be written here. I feel between you and somebody else. Okay. So I feel the energy that there's a lot of potential here, happiness, right new way new ways of doing things i feel that energy as well okay some of you may even journal okay some of you may even be journaling uh what is happening here now you have here carrying connections and you have the knight of wands somebody is coming towards you all right we are in Mer we are in Mer Mercury retrograde, so I do feel here this could be somebody right that you already know, somebody coming back into your life, somebody who maybe wasn't consistent in the past, but somebody here, um, you know, who is definitely returning. Now I'm going to say I'm not going to rule out new love because the Knight of Wands can be a new love coming into your life. We're gonna we're gonna see how this plays out. All right. Now, on the bottom of the deck here, you have a woman holding a coin. 
okay? I feel like financially during this time, things are looking really good here for you, Cancer. And you also have here the Eight of Swords. So I feel like the only thing so far here, really what is on your mind, like I said, I feel like you're, you're more wise, right? You're more wise. There's new ways of doing things, right? I feel new beginnings here. But I also feel here that there's some worry on your mind about the stability, right? Where is this going to lead? Is this going to lead to something solid or lead to, you know, a relationship or, or things taken to the next level, okay? And look, I feel like this is something that you struggle with, but look at that. That struggle's coming to, going to come to an end there, right? Because it's, it's a 10, which, you know, uh, moves on to a new beginning here. So Cancer, uh, we also have here Aries, Sagittarius energy as well. So let's see, let's keep going. I'm going to make some room here. Let's see how this plays out. What else can you tell Cancer, right? What's going on during Mercury ret retrograde, May 10th through June 3rd? Okay, Six of Cups. King of Cups. Temperance. All right. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody here that, um, yeah, as I was just about to say, and I look at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Swords. I feel like this is somebody here that you had some sort of ending. It does feel like you know, it was painful here. Let's see what else you have. Yeah, nine of wands. This may be somebody that you went through a really tough time with, okay? But I will say on the flip side here, you have the nine of pentacles, all right? And look at that. You have the ace of cups, okay? So I feel that even though things didn't go your way, I feel like this is a situation that built you up. As I said, you're more wiser, you're more knowledgeable. Maybe some of you really focused on your career, your money, or maybe just you know being more grounded and stable um, type of energy there. But or you know something you have done here that is really making you super attractive is what I get here. Okay. It may be right that just you're more grounded and rooted. Like I said, I feel the energy here of you not really, um, you know, kind of giving everything away, right? You're keeping things to yourself more so than maybe in the past. But I feel this is somebody returning here from your past that you had a really difficult time, okay? Now with the Ten of Swords here, it's also about renewal, okay? There is hope, there's new. There's hope for a new dawn, a new day here, right? Um, there's the light there. So I get here, this is somebody here from your past, a past love <clears throat> with the Six of Cups, okay? New beginnings here. Uh, I feel this is somebody who has a lot of love for you. They do miss you. I feel like this person thinks about you. Uh, some of you, there could be some travel distance with the world card here as well. All right. You also have here the king of cups, right? With the sun card and the strategy card. Okay. So this is somebody who has a lot of love for you. You know, maybe somebody who has a hard time expressing it. It can be you, Cancer, as well. Maybe, like I said, you're not showing a whole lot at this time. You also have here the temperance, okay? So what I get here is this is someone, a caring connection here. Somebody has a lot of love for you, and I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. And I feel there's an energy here of... This person coming back around wanted to wanted to find balance here with you, okay? Wanting a reconciliation, right? Here with that temperance card. They want to find, I feel with you, you know, the right balance, okay? There's a lot of emotion here. And I feel like this is somebody here who they're realizing how much they care for you. So let's see here, though. I'm going to say for some of you, you know, if you if there's nobody here you're wanting to reconcile, like I said, this could be new love. And if it if you feel this is a new love, then I feel there's an energy of, you know, they're saying here they may take a little bit of timing. All right, there may be some divine timing here. So let's see what else comes out for you, Cancer. 
Okay, two of cups. Wow, wheel of fortune. Oh my gosh, Cancer, look at that. That says that all right there. Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to change things. They want to bring things back into balance. Like I said, I feel like things are going to be done differently. Right? I feel like more so on your end, right? You're going to handle things maybe differently than you did before. Look at that. Two of Cups, Six of Cups. New beginning here, right? Somebody who has equal feelings for you or feels that strong connection, that chemistry with you. You also have here the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful energy here, okay? Telling me, Cancer, there is definitely a new beginning here, okay? And there's a lot of love, all right? A new cycle. And remember I said here, new ideas, things being done differently, right? If there was devil energy, right? That the wheel's turning and that devil is going away, <laughs> okay? New beginnings, new cycles. A new story is going to be written here, Cancer. Really, really nice energy, okay? Feel like things are gonna turn in your favor here. Look at this, you got... Two of Cups. Some of you, I feel like this possibly even could be a Twin Flame. All right. The Sun card for me, too, can be that Twin Flame energy. You got uh, Two of Cups. You got Angel energy here. Yeah. Some of you, right? Or just a, a very strong past life soulmate connection here. You also have here the Three of Pentacles, right? Right with the, the caring connection. This is somebody here who wants to work on things. Somebody here who wants to build trust with you. Right, and remember um, in the beginning you had the Eight of Swords. I feel like there was worry around stability. And look what you got here. Woman holding a coin, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like Cancer money is, is going to look good for you, okay, potentially. But I also get the energy. This is somebody I feel here who's coming around who wants to build trust with you. Who wants to take the steps towards something long term here with the Ace of Pentacles? And look what you have on also here too, the World card. So coming out of an energy where maybe things were stuck, maybe this was somebody who wasn't wanting to commit in the past. Look at that new cycles here, new beginnings, change. This person's coming back around to change things is what I get. Wow, Cancer, this is like a really good energy. Right. Um, I feel like in the last reading we did for you, your person, you know, the, they come across as somebody, uh, somebody who is worrisome. Right. Somebody who was indecisive. Maybe they had some truths to tell here. You know, it definitely feels this is someone coming back to build trust with you. Or it can be somebody new. Like I said, look, I showed up here. You have the wealthy man. That's the pair here. Right. That's your counterpart there. This is man holding a coin with um, the wealthy man. Okay, so, and that's not about male or female. It's about the energy. So this is someone I feel here is coming up towards your level. Okay, this is someone I feel who's not going to mess around. <laughs> Let's see here. And I don't mean that literally. Okay, all right. Yeah, I was just talking about the worry, right? Okay, so this is someone I feel here. Look at that community here. I feel like your person may be feeling you're outdated, you're outdating, or maybe, you know, people are, you know, there may be quite a few people around you, you being social, maybe you're going out or whatever have you, but you have here despair and you have imprisonment, okay? So again, uh, I was just saying that your person here is up is somebody who gets up in their head and I feel the reason why they may feel you have somebody else in your life here because there's another male here and I feel like that could be the worry here. Okay, that could be the worry here from your person is really what I get there. You also have here uh, community. So they may even feel like this could be somebody in your community, somebody you work with, um, you know, or you may be, you may have met somebody right in the community having to do with your work. All right. But I also get here too, this is somebody here, um, 
who knows that they need to change things and they need to put the work in in the situation here. Okay, they need to come together with you to build this and to rebuild the trust here. So Cancer, uh, definitely feel for a lot of you. Some of you, this is just somebody new, right? That, that somebody's coming in here. If you don't have anybody that you're wanting to reconcile with, this could just be somebody new coming into your life, right? Wanting to start to build trust with you, get to know you, right? New cycles here. And like I said, you're doing things differently than maybe uh, in the past because you've learned a lot here. So Cancer, I'm going to take this to the extended. We're going to see where it goes what your person's thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love notes, and guidance. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.